Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to automate plugins inside of Pro Tools. When you automate your plugins, you can create some awesome effects that give your tracks some movement and make it a lot more interesting to listen to. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so for this tutorial, we're gonna be using a beat that I made and we're going to make three different automations, one in the beginning, one in the middle, and one in the end. The first one we're going to do is a sweeping low pass filter. And I want this filter to open up as the beat drops. So you can get a better understanding of what we're about to do. I'm gonna let the beat play for about nah, 30, 35 seconds. So you can listen to the buildup and then when it drops, that's when the, the filter will open up. So let's go ahead and play it as it is right now. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here and I want the sweeping low pass filter to happen between the 13 bar and the 17 bar. So we're going to go ahead and add an EQ here. We're gonna to go to multi-channel plugin, EQ, EQ one band. So we're going to go ahead and type in the information before we do any automation because this is where the automation is going to begin as. So I'm gonna go with the frequency of 400 and we're gonna do a type, it's gonna be a low pass filter. And here's the trick to automating your plugins. Right here where it says auto, right below it is a little, like this little um, button with like two little windows. And if you hover over it, it says plugin automation enable. So we're going to click on that button. And in here you have your options of what it is that you can automate on this plugin. So one thing I'm going to automate is the master bypass. So I'm gonna add that and the frequency. So I'm going to add that too. And we're not gonna touch any of these for today. So I'm gonna click okay. And now on the left hand side here on your track, on the bottom corner, you're gonna see this right here, it says show height automation lane. So we're gonna right click this and in here we're gonna find our EQ. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the master bypass because I don't want this plugin on the entire time. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and it currently is on right now and I want it to be off by the time it hits the 17 bar. So I'm gonna to go to the 17th bar here. I'm gonna click with my um, selection tool here, the, I forgot its name here, the grabber tool, sorry. So we're going to use the grabber tool and we're gonna turn this on. So by the time it hits here, it's going to be turned off or bypassed. So let's go ahead and see that happen. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, the, the filter takes place very drastically and I don't want that to happen. So we're going to go to the left-hand side on the corner here again, where it says show hide automation lanes. And we're going to right click here, go to the EQ again, and we're gonna select frequency. So it's currently on a 400 um, frequency right now. So we're going to use the grabber tool. We're gonna to make a selection here on the 13th bar because I want it to stay in that place right there. And then we're gonna to go to the 17th bar and we're gonna drag this up to 20,000 kilohertz. So I'm going to let this play from here. And as the filter start, as you see the automation hit, you're gonna to start to see the filter activate and work. So let's go ahead and play this. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so now we have our EQ1 band automated. So let's go ahead and go to the middle part of here where the beat kind of fades off. So I'm gonna add a tape to, um, a tape here. We're gonna go to multi-channel, multi-channel, sorry. And we're gonna go to real tape flanger. Okay, so same deal. We're gonna go to the automation here and we're going to automate the master bypass and we're going to automate the, ah, uh, is it rate or depth? Let me take a look here. Let's go ahead and go with depth. So we're gonna go add and we're gonna click okay and we're gonna bypass this for now. And same deal, we're gonna, I'm um, going to the left hand side here on the, in the track. I'm gonna click here 
and we're going to go to the real tape flanger and we're going to go to the master bypass first. So with the grabber tool, I'm going to select from the 41 bar and the 49 bar. And then with the smart tool with all three activated here, I'm going to hover my mouse over that selection or between these two points. And you're going to see my cursor change into this little bracket. So I'm going to click and drag this and this turns off the bypass. So I only want the little um, flanger to take place here. So I'm going to go in here and let's see that happen. Okay, so we're also gonna, going to automate the depth here. And we're going to go to LFO depth. And I'm going to go with my grabber tool. I'm going to click on the 41, on the 49, and then in the middle because I want there to be some kind of a movement. So I'm going to actually push this up to 100%. And let's go ahead and open up the flanger and let's see what happens. All right, so there we go. Now it's the middle. Let's go ahead and go to the end. And likewise with the um with the EQ, we're going to add another EQ in here. I'm going to go to multi-channel plugin, going to go to EQ, one band, and we're going to bypass this for now. And we're going to start we're going to actually add a high pass filter to this one. And let's go ahead and go to the end here. Yeah, the beat changes a little bit in here. If you're interested in listening to this one, I'll leave the link in the description below. So I want it to be here at the end. Okay, so I'm going to quote, I'm gonna to go to automation, master bypass, add, frequency, add, and we're gonna click okay. So let's go ahead and right click here. We're gonna to go to EQ one band, master bypass. Right now it's currently bypassed. So I'm gonna turn this off here at the 97th bar. And then we're going to go with the frequency. And it's currently at 1K. So I actually wanted to start here. So we're gonna go with the grabber tool. We're gonna to go here. And then we're gonna to go to the end here and we're gonna turn this up so that it starts to sweep towards the high. So as you can see, that's a pretty cool way to make a transition or fade out with the fade happening. And yeah, so let's go ahead and listen to these three back. Let's see what we have here. Start from the beginning. pretty cool. It creates an even bigger effect. It makes it sound like the beats coming in, coming in even harder. So we're going to go here towards the middle. You see the depth move here. And it's going to turn off. All right, let's go ahead and go to the end here.
Or perhaps we can go the opposite. We can start at the top here. And since this is all bypassed, we don't have to worry about that. All right, so as you can see, some ideas don't always work in your favor. I forgot there's little to no low frequency in that. But yeah, basically, so this is how you automate plugins inside of Pro Tools. And keep in mind that there is no limit as long as the plugin can be automated. You'll always see the options there. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.